much for joining me and welcome back to a brand new Studio Monday. I'm going to be sharing an ornament idea for you that's going to be featuring some of the neat and tangled new stamps and dies that have been released over the past couple months. There are some really cute images that I am really excited to be using on today's projects. These ornaments are really simple to create. So simple, in fact, that I think this would be a great project for kids to do, to give as gifts to family members, grandparents, friends. It's really fun, really quick, and also, I think, very kid-friendly. So let's go ahead and get started on today's project. I've got out here the Baby Jesus and the Santa's Wonderland stamp and die set. The Baby Jesus stamp set and the die came out in October, and then the Santa's Wonderland came out here in November at the beginning of the month. We're going to be using both of these products in today's video. I'm going to start by inking up some of the images with some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm inking these up really good, and I'm going to end up having to stamp them multiple times because watercolor paper, which is what I'll be doing my stamping on, is a little bit textured, so it's not going to stamp as perfectly as it would on cardstock. So you see here, my images are a little bit faded in spots. So I'll go ahead and re-ink these images just to get a more intense color. I'm also stamping the little Santa because he didn't fit on that other piece of paper. I'll just go ahead and stamp him down on some Simon's Stamp Intense Black ink as well. I went ahead and inked him up a couple times too because, again, the impression wasn't as good because we're stamping on watercolor paper. Now the reason I'm using watercolor paper is because I'm going to be doing some Zig Clean Color watercolor. Now the watercolor is going to be pretty simple. I used very few colors trying to keep the color palette really simple and I also just did some very simple shading. So I'm going to go ahead and play some music so you can watch the coloring and then I'll come back in a couple of minutes when we're ready to go ahead and finish up these ornaments.
all of our coloring and the images have had time to dry. I'm taking the coordinating dies and I'm lining these up over top of my images so that I can go ahead and die cut these with my Big Shot machine. I'm using some blue painter's tape to hold the dies down. I've kind of neutralized it on my sweatshirt sleeve before I went ahead and applied it to the paper. And that just gave me a light tack to be able to hold these images down onto the paper. But when I go ahead and peel the tape off, it won't rip the paper when we go ahead and take the dies off of the paper. Once I did the die cutting of the images, I also die cut from some white cardstock three other images with these dies. These die cut pieces don't have any stamping or anything on them. We're going to be using them to layer up and create a more sturdier ornament. So it's going to hold up really well on the tree and also be able to hold up from any wear and tear from being held, hung on the tree, things like that. On this baby Jesus image, I'm putting some foam tape around the edges of the hay piece and I'm going to go ahead and pop this up onto one of the outline die cuts that I've already created. I'm going to make sure I have all the hay strands lined up evenly because I don't want to have any crooked areas or any of the hay pieces sticking out in weird spots. I'll go ahead and press that down and then I'm going to take the little baby Jesus itself and I'm going to nestle that inside of our hay and I have that here down with just some regular adhesive because I want the hay to be popped up and make it look like the baby Jesus is nestled inside the hay. Now to create our sturdier ornaments, I'm first taking one of the plain die cut pieces and I'm putting ATG adhesive on the back side. Now you can use whatever type of adhesive you want. I'm just using the ATG adhesive because it's the tape adhesive that I prefer most. I'm taking some ribbon and I'm laying this into the ATG adhesive on our die cut piece. And this is going to be the element that's going to hang our ornament from the tree. After I've laid the ribbon into the tape, I cut off any excess and then I'll go ahead and add a little bit more adhesive and layer this piece on top of our ornament. This is going to sandwich the ribbon in between the two pieces and it's going to hold the ribbon in place so that way it won't end up coming apart later on. I'm going to add that final die cut to the back side and this isn't really necessary but I do it because I felt that having at least four layers of all of these pieces layered up together gave me a really good sturdy ornament and I felt it was going to hold up really well. So I'm going to repeat the same process that I did for the Baby Jesus ornament with all of the other images that I've created. I'm adding ribbon to the ornaments and then I'm sandwiching the ribbon in between the die cut pieces that we've created. I used a variety of ribbons on each of my images. Each ornament has a different ribbon to hang it from the tree. I thought that would look really fun and that way if, if you give these as a set to someone, they all have a little bit of their own personality and I think the ribbons are fun to mix and match and see which one looks best with each ornament. I wanted to go a little bit further with these ornaments. You could stop right here, but I'm taking some Distress Glitter. This is the Clear Rock Candy. I applied some PPA matte adhesive to different areas of my ornament. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that Distress Glitter onto our ornament to create some shimmery areas on these ornaments. I think this really dresses them up and adds just a little bit of glitter and shimmer to these ornaments to make them sparkle on the tree. The PPA matte adhesive does dry clear. You can use any type of liquid adhesive you prefer for this. Any, Basically, you just want to use something that's going to dry clear. So right now it looks a little foggy, but once this dries, you won't be able to see the glue. I went ahead and repeated this for all of my ornaments. I was random with where I placed the glitter. I just used my PPA matte adhesive to add areas of glue onto my images. And then I just went ahead and sprinkled the distress glitter over top of the images and set them aside to dry. So that's going to finish up these ornaments. These were so much fun to create and I think these would be perfect to create a whole bunch of because they're very simple and they're also really fun to be able to put together and it's fun to be able to get your kids involved. They can color them themselves and then add embellishments to them. They can use all sorts of different products to go ahead and color these in. I think this would be really fun then the kids could give these to their grandparents, friends and family and just be able to have a little gift that they can give to others on Christmas. I think that's really fun. So I hope you've enjoyed and got some inspiration on using these new products from Neat and Tangled. I am really loving these images. I think they're super cute. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can connect with us on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, as well as our blog. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Thank you.